Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing an upgrade video on this mining rig right here. It currently consists of four RTX 3070 video cards. And since April, it's been mining Ethereum at a very good rate. We use the extra funds to purchase uh, this new EVGA RTX 3090 for the 13 edition. So that's going to bring in the total hash rate of the rig up to 355 mega hash per second when mining Ethereum. In other words, that's equivalent to 750 US dollars per month of gross revenue. In order to support the extra power required for this card, we also purchased this new ROG Thor 1200 watt platinum power supply by ASUS. So this power supply is going to run alongside the current 1200 watt power supply to provide a maximum uh, delivery for the unit up to 2400 watts. The two power supplies are going to be synced together using this dual uh, adapter uh, which allows two power supplies to be connected to the same machine. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. Alright guys, so after finishing wiring up the rig, we finally have it assembled now. We have the ROG Thor 1200 watt power supply connected to the RTX 3090 as well as the motherboard. And then the other 1200 watt power supply by Thermaltake is connected to four RTX 3070s. Together these two power supplies are drawing a total of around 990 watts at the wall. And yeah, they're both connected to a power bar right now which is feeding power to the entire mining rig. The rig itself is running incredibly smooth even with this intense heat wave that we're experiencing in Vancouver right now. You can see there the miner is configured on the ETH algorithm running on the Phoenix Miner program. Currently with the video card's thermal throwing it's running at 361 mega hash per second when mounting Ethereum. Those really nice numbers are achieved through overclocking on the MSI Afterburner right there. So with regards to overclocking, we were able to get a decent memory boost on all of the video cards. The power limit of the RTX 3090 was brought down to 70%. Meanwhile, the RTX 3070s had their power limit brought down in the mid 50s. And yeah, you can see there we did get a chance to try out a sophisticated thermal imaging camera. 
It is apparent that most of the heat is being produced on the top left of the rig. That's where the RTX 3090 is located. And with the other cards, they are showing an output of well over 40 degrees Celsius. So before I wrap things up, I just want to mention some of the things we had to do in order to get the mining rig operating at its optimal levels, starting off with cleaning the existing video cards. Another thing that was frustrating that happened was that we had to replace the CPU on the mining rig. Not only was it time consuming to verify the fault, but purchasing the replacement CPU set us back by $100. With the initial CPU, there was not enough thermal paste applied, and as a result, on the top right of the lid, it ended up burning. So we had to purchase a brand new Celeron CPU to install it on the rig. And yeah, there you can see it's running fine with the new CPU installed. Anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching the video. We had a lot of fun building the rig. And I wish you all the best luck in your own builds. Goodbye now.